What is up guys, it's Val Guy here, and today <clears throat> I'm going to teach you guys how to get free Sertling cores and free coal. So, coal and Sertling cores, right? Why are they important? Well, coal, you need to uh, smelter metal, so to process the metal and break it down into um, usable metals, like from the raw to the usable. And then the Sertling cores, which you can see I have a boatload of, those are important for a few different things. So if we come over here, you have to have Sertling cores to smelt your metal. So to make these guys here, these ovens. Um, and as you can see, you can make more than one to make it, uh, to make processing faster. Which is what I do. I think I've got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe just six. Either way, you also need them for, I don't know if you've seen my portals video, but you need them for portals. So basically, no matter where you are in the game, you will need certain cores and you will probably need coal as well for processing metal. So let's go get them. Uh, this is going to take me to my Sertling Core coal farm, and when I spawn in, listen very carefully, you're going to hear some death. At least you should. Maybe not. Alright, let's try this. There we go. Hear all that? I don't know if you could hear that sound or not, but it was the sound of death. What the hey? Alright, so that's interesting. Alright, well now I get to show you how to build them, because apparently with the Mistlands update... Alright, well... <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. So what I had is, if you go into the swamp, is these two fire pillars. These are where certlings spawn. And you can see all the certlings. Oh, one star, that's great. Um, and what we're going to do is I had these dug out all the way. Yeah, see, they can't get wet. So when they try to get wet, or when they go into the water, they instantly die. So, kill these dudes. And you can see, I've got some coal there. Those are people that have just, like, spawned in. So when these certlings die, if I could see them, they're quick little turds. There we go. So when these certlings die, they give you certling cores and coal. So right there, we got three certling cores and 19 coal. Oh, and there's a lot more. So apparently this still kind of works, but... I don't know, it's weird. I don't know why it re I don't know, raised the ground. But basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the swamp, you're gonna find one of these fire pillars, and you're gonna start digging. Now they don't have this does not have to be super deep. In fact, you don't want it to be super deep. You want it just to be raised enough so when they spawn in, they basically instantly die. And you can just go over there <coughs> and uh, farm those certling cores and uh, and coal. Yep, so this is about all the depth you need right there. And then we'll just knock this out so they can't spawn into this. And now this is obviously a really good location because there are... Uh, two of these fire spawner things really close to each other so you can do this with one um, or two uh, but the more you've got the better so if you can find like a three or I've never seen a four I've seen three once but if you can get a two really close to each other like this that's what you're looking for so it looks like this one's dug out pretty well if I wanted to get crazy I could uh, eliminate these trees over here as well but I don't think it's really necessary yet. Just making sure they can't spawn onto dry land is the 
goal here. But it's good that they are... Um, I guess it's good it's not dug out anymore because now I get to show you guys how to dig them out. And that's about good. They're just going to spawn into here. I don't think they spawn on trees. If they do, it's very rare. Um, let's Got a little save there. Let's go over and dig out this other one. And you can see I have way more stuff I didn't pick up over here. So apparently some of them did die. So yeah, 32 coal and 6 certling cores. And I did basically nothing. Let's dig this out. The only thing you really have to worry about is uh, leeches. That's why you don't want to go too deep. You want to keep it kind of shallow so the leeches can't get you when you're over here collecting uh, your uh, coal and cores. Huh. Apparently we've got a skeleton. Just keep knocking it down. I think you get the idea. And then I would like to be able to show you guys how it works in real time. Uh, knock this down a little bit. Another skeleton. Uh, that looks pretty good. I think we're all underwater. Yep, they don't really have any place to go. So what I also do, I'll show you. Do I have any wood? No, I don't. Let me. I don't even have an axe on me, huh? All right, well, oh, there's Sertling. Death. That was cool. So, knock down this tree real fast. Get some wood. So this is like my um, like my away from the keyboard. Um, base, for lack of a better description. Okay, so we're going to jump up here, and I don't know why I didn't use stairs to construct this thing, but I didn't. But I like to go high, because we're in the swamp. And then over here, I've got a fire. Come on. There we go. And then, I can just sit here, a couple of windows, and we can just wait for him to spawn. Now you can just go away from the keyboard if you want. Oh, there's there's one right there. Boom, he's instantly dead. And that's what we're looking for. Oh, another ones. See? They just instantly die. And if you you could just sit here, I mean you could go you could leave your house if you wanted to and come back and you're going to have a bunch of certling core and coal. Um, every time you come here, you should have certling core like if time passes, like if you came here twice a day morning and night, um, another one just spawned. Yeah, hear him now? Hear him going? Uh, if you come back here twice a day, you're going to have a ton. So, I'm actually going to throw these out. 6 and 32. We're going to ignore that. We're going to see what we just got. Just now. And this is no cheating. This is not me spawning anything in. This is just them spawning and instantly dying. Look at all these. And then we'll see what our yield is. I don't see any others. What do we get? 28 coal, 4 certling cores. In no time. So, um, we'll add that with the other, uh, with the other draw when we first came over here. So now we've got 60 coal and 10 certling cores. And again, we didn't really do anything. You also get uh, their trophies as well. They'll they'll drop, but unfortunately, they're pretty worthless at picking out or at, at lighting. So it's sad, but I wish it's one of it's one of the few things I wish would change about the game. I wish they'd put out some good lightning or some good light. You can also see there. There's another one. Um, cert spawner. I could go dig that one out as well. I just haven't because these are so close. Um, I could also put my portal up here if I wanted to, and I don't know why I haven't yet. <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't. Uh, but yeah, just go back in here. And same thing. We just sit and wait. So, there you go, guys. That is how you um, can quickly and easily farm certain cores and coal. I mean, 
the proof is in the pudding here. This would be 10 certainly cores. I mean, that you might get that in a good crypt, um, but realistically, you're eventually going to run out. So, and coal, kind of the same thing. You, there's infinite amount of wood in the game. You can farm trees all day long, um, but uh, it takes a lot of time. So this is much faster, much faster um, to just sit around and wait for them to spawn. Or if you're, like I said, if you're playing the game, you can you can just play the game normally and come back here like in the morning and at night and just make a habit out of it until you've got plenty. So that is my top tip of the day. Um, if you like the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Also, please consider subscribing if you got value out of this video. Um, hopefully you did. This is a really, really good tip. So hopefully it helps you guys. Um, another thing you can do is kind of like you can find these from the outskirts of the swamp, so you can boat in, boat out type deal uh, if you need to, if you're still kind of in the beginning stages. But once you find one or two in a row, uh, you are golden. And you can also, if you've only got one, if you can only find ones, uh, ones of these pillar spawner things, you could have multiple portals going to multiple locations. It just takes a little longer. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next video.